Uh, this is a demo of a, um, a kind of uh, area takeoff and annotation tool. I call it Fast Query. Um, it's written in Lisp, Auto Lisp, and uh, it's demonstrated here on BricsCAD. Uh, I'm not quite. It's been a while since I've tested it on AutoCAD, but uh, I think it should be relatively compatible, or at least compatible with minor um, adjustments to the code. So we've got a drawing here. It could be a PDF as long as it's scaled properly, uh, imported into CAD. And uh, we um, load up the list to start with. Um, cool. So if we run it, the first thing that we're asked when we run it is to uh, enter the drawing unit. Um, so units to the meter. In this case, we're in millimeters, so that'll be one thousand. And. Um, and it immediately starts looking for um, elements that you've created. Now we've not created these yet, um, but what we need to do is set up some default layers. So we use the um, just the menu make. It's quite old school this, and that will have um, created. Oops. Exit. That's created layers. So if I just bring those those layers across then it's created these layers um, the 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 tool is uh, is looking for named layers uh, named in a specific format and um, the main thing is everything in front of the hyphen so anything in front of the hyphen is a is a kind of code which will you know which is handled by the annotation routine later so if you draw on uh, query a then um, when you when you're kind of using the annotation routine later it will it'll pull out the area um, but if you um, if you want say if you want to draw using this kind of cheap 3d you know if you draw the thickness of entities so they extrude up in the Z dimension then you can uh, you can query the area of um, and anyway you'll, you'll see how it works as I go through it so let's um, let's draw some areas okay I can uh, can I dock this yeah dock that right so I, you need to draw, I think it's polylines, I think it works with some other entities, but obviously it's not going to work with lines. Um, I'll have my snaps on. Okay, so um, actually, what we can do, SAP conventions, let's, uh, let's do this according to SAP conventions. So we'll get the area of the um, property. Okay, close that. And I guess this O lounge that's a living area, so we'll, um, we'll we will um, we can create another another layer, and that'll be called uh, QRY um, a living. That's good, right? Can do that. Okay, and uh, no, it isn't. Right, okay. Polyline again. Um, dink, dink. Okay, dink. See, right, so, so we've got the living area, we've got the, um, yeah, we've got the whole ground floor area, and then um, we'll go on this one, and um, we'll do, I think what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll just copy that, okay, but, um, you know, I'll, um, I'll just zip around and go to a nice overview. So what we're saying about cheap 3D, if I just flip to the properties of this, and give it, um, let's say, that is a wall, and it's um, uh, 2.5 meters. So that, that's that's kind of like you know, cheapo 3D. So um, you can have that. I'm just showing this outside, discombobulated to, for clarity. Um, if I just pop over to the plan view, and then again, um, that should be on its own kind of interpreted layer. So okay. So if that's on that layer. And then uh, we can also do the same for, we can do the same for Windows. So when we do, with, with this one, it'll report, you'll see what I, see, see what I mean later, but I'm explaining it now. You'll see that uh, that one reports the, ho the total area, but this one, if you, if, you know, with this kind of uh, prefix code, it'll report separately the length and the thickness. So I'll do that for the window, seeing as it's in there. And um, again, I think it's polyline, so Bosch, Bosch, okay, Bosch, Bosch, okay, I should draw to the structural opening, shouldn't I? Oh, 
anyway, you know what I mean. Right, whoa, oh dear, right. <laughs> so if they are, okay, so uh, go back to my properties. So uh, windows, uh, uh, 1.5 meters high. So again, if we zip around, you know, so there you go. Right, okay. Um, so what might be easy now if we, uh, if we just um, isolate these on their own. So we've just got them, you know, just got these. And then, you know, if we invoke query again, then, you know, we can, okay, oh, actually I need to do something with the text size. Just give me a second. Uh, I'll come out because I want to delete that. Okay, um, query. So uh, I can change the annotation size. Um, this is a hack to be honest, but it, I mean, I think it's a pretty good hack. Uh, 250, okay, let's try that now. Area. There we go. There we go. It's using the field code, um, so that is relevant for you know. And again, okay. I want to go to uh, plan view actually. Right, okay. Okay. So the difference between this layer and this layer is that's actually just doing the whole working out of the area whereas this is giving you it's just it's sap format sometimes you can you know you can do those separately but it's all based on these layer prefixes so um, yeah there you go um, that's how it works um, and there's one for just checking perimeter length so if I did uh, you know if I just did an arbitrary line and query that then uh, you know that is not on the right layer so if I change that to that layer, which is off at the moment because I did a layer isolation. There we go. So then I'd need to delete that and then uh, rerun our routine. But um, if you, you know, so length, you can thermal bridge length, stuff like that. Um, so I'm just thinking what else this might do. Um, yeah, I think it's just going to be a movie of me staring at the screen now. Uh, I mean, you can store other types of, uh, uh, you know, annotation as well. You can, you know, write your own notes and then, you know, PDF it. I found it quite useful, uh, you know, and if, uh, if you want to have a go, then let me know. Okay, thanks. I did think of one other thing. Um, so these are field codes. And if you change the size of any of these and regenerate the drawing then this changes so, so if we whoops, 